Hey everyone, Hudson Northcott here from RCReviews.com. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, basically how to configure, not not necessarily configure, but how to um, prepare your uh, Immersion RC Vortex for 2.4 uh, control, specifically for the Spectrum Satellite procedure. Uh, all in all, this procedure has probably taken me at least maybe 10 minutes of my time. And uh, I'm just going to go give you a quick overview of what all I've done so far. So. Hopefully this will work. We got the camera charging still. So I don't know if you can see, but uh, right here I have my, um, you know what? Let's do this. Uh, hang on just one second. Oops. Always be prepared. Yowza. Okay. So, as you can see, I've got uh, my 5-pin Molex connector um, plugged into the GPS port of the Vortex right here on the bottom plate. And it's got three wires, uh, positive, negative, and signal, I would assume, going through the back right here, out this little back hole connected into my uh, JR DSM-2 satellite. Uh, being the, o the OCD I have, I had to go ahead and order two other wires. I mean, when you pay like three pennies a piece for them, you know, why not? Uh, just in case later on I do get a GPS, I can already have these two extra wires. Um, so anyway, went off this diagram. Uh, you can find it on Immersion RC's website. I don't know if you're going to be able to fully see it on the phone. But uh, the idea is, is to have your positive, which is your 3.3 volts coming out of the GPS port, your ground, which is going to be your black or middle wire, and the actual signal wire, uh, which is going to be your silver wire. And on the spectrum, actually, I'm not for sure uh, what color. I think it's orange, silver, and black, so just carry the colors over. Uh, should be pretty, pretty common sense, actually. But what Immersion RC wanted you to do is to save some time. Uh, they wanted you to basically just cut these wires and cut these wires and solder on uh, them directly. Uh, again, I chose not to do that. I chose to spend the time that I had and take off the Molex connector off the satellite end and plug it into these wires right here and just configure it as is. As you can see, I've got my Easy UHF right here sitting on the back. Um, I really haven't had any range problems with it, to be honest. Um, I don't know if that's just me or what it is, but uh, it's been running just fine. I've only got about three flats on it. I'm still, you know, fine tuning and adjusting and whatnot. So, uh, again, I don't know. But anyway, it's worked out good. So, uh, basically, uh, to give you a standpoint, the Vortex runs off clean flight controller, and the clean flight controller that they have configured runs PPM. Uh, as some of you may or may not know, uh, Spectrum, the DSM-2 protocol, and DSM-X protocol uh, receivers from Spectrum do not support PPM. Spectrum doesn't have a PPM receiver at the moment, and have talked to a few people, and they don't believe that they will come out with one. But um, I sent word to a few Spectrum devs, and hopefully they'll send word back to headquarters or possibly uh, the people over at Spectrum. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I have to say here. Uh, so a lot of people were buying lemon and orange receivers, and uh, personally, I do not trust those receivers. Um, you know, whenever you spend five hundred dollars on a quad, why wait? You know, why risk? Why risk the factor of crashing it because you bought some type of off-brand receiver, off-brand product? So that's why I went ahead and just said, forget about it. I'm going to go ahead and install a DSM-2 receiver through the GPS port. Um, now, Immersion RC is saying that you need to uh, update clean flight to 1.9. I think it is, is what I believe is 1.9. Yeah. 
and uh, they are saying that there are some al altitude problems with the barometer on the board and that 1.9 completely kills it. Now when they say kills it, it basically, they mean that it just prevents it from working. Um, I don't think it damages it, I think it just stops it from actually giving a correct reading. So, uh, if you're like me, you don't need it, um, unless you want to run game mode at races, which I don't know why some of you would. Uh, you know, it's, it's another benefit, I understand, but I personally will not. Um, so uh, we have to update clean flight, and then you have to go in to um, t t you have to go into the immersion RC uh, configure, and after you do that, you have to select uh, Spectrum uh, 2048. Now you're also going to see Spectrum uh, 20. You're going to see Spectrum 2048 and Spectrum 1024. Uh, the difference is is frame rate. Uh, there's really nothing you have to worry about. Uh, if it's if it's DSM2 or DSMX, don't worry about it because they are cross compatible. So just go ahead and just go ahead and uh, I repeat myself quite a bit. Just go ahead and select Spectrum 2048. Uh, you won't have anything to worry about. Uh, it's, it's all good. So uh, I'm going to keep on flying. Probably in the meantime, I will take off this little bitty. Uh, I'll t uh, disconnect the satellite and uh, or. I will unplug it from the board right here and just leave it stickied on top of my UHF because there are some events out there at PVYs that want you to run 2.4 but they prevent you from running uh, your UHF band which is what I'm running at the moment. So uh, with that being said, if that's the case, I might just sticky this on here, go get a little netbook from Walmart for like a $200 or something and every time I uh, go to an event or something, uh, just disconnect or disconnect this cable and configure it for 2.4 and 5.8 video, 2.4 control. So uh, it should be should be too hard, I wouldn't think. I think it's mainly just a matter of connecting it to the immersion RC tools, configuring it, and maybe running through another transmitter setup. I don't know. I doubt it. But anyway, that's the story. So uh, like I said, uh, I won't have a video uh, showing how to configure this. 2.4 control um, that should be pretty simple but I did buy these uh, I did buy the five pin Molex connector and these five Pico blade wires from Mauser Electronics they're located in Mansfield Texas and it's about a hundred miles from me and I think I walked away with an eight dollar and ninety some odd cents tab and it came with two day shipping um, so the pieces were 60 cents a piece maybe at the most and the wires were 13 I think it was it was stupid it was you know it's reasonable price I would assume you know if you ordered in bulk they gave you it a little cheaper but um, yeah, I walked with eight dollars maybe so I have no complaints it took like I said maybe 10 15 minutes of my time and I even uh, didn't saw the wires I'm gonna keep this to the side just uh, just the side for right now so but anyway uh, in the time being until I get this configured, I'll disconnect this. I'll disconnect the satellite from the board and probably just leave it hanging in, in here somewhere. And I will probably bend these two wires back and zip tie them, stuff them back under. And actually, they might have to zip tie. I can just bend them back. I'll put a little bit of heat shrink over each individual wire. That way, they don't short each other out. And just stuff them back in the board like that and disconnect it. Or actually, I might just go ahead and just take it all out for the time being. But um, that is it, guys. I think that basically covers it. Um, like I said, it was probably no more than $9 to do this with shipping included. And you have to have a DSM-2 or DSM-X satellite. Um, I don't think DSM protocol had satellite, satellites at that time. So uh, uh, if you're running an AR-6, or if you're running, yeah, AR-600, AR-6000, whatever the receivers were for the DSM, DSM protocol, you might want to upgrade your radio system. It's a little outdated. So, but anyway, uh, please be sure to check out my other videos of the Vortex. I've got a few videos, um, just a little bit of in-flight videos and a review of the unboxing and initial thoughts. Like I said, I won't have a video of me showing the installation and the configuration for this, but um, I will have some flight videos on there and whatnot. And uh, a little word of advice. I do recommend having a uh, 
a uh, I'm trying to think basically not an idle hold but a uh, an arm switch for your helicopter I don't know if you can see it but right here there's a there's a perfect little dent and that was from my pinky nail the other night so got me pretty good it hurt hurt pretty bad um, but uh I shook it off so anyway, this concludes the um, Spectrum Receiver DSM2 DSMX satellite installation. Uh, like I said, please be sure to check out my other videos and uh, also check out realrcreviews.com for the true and unbiased reviews of airplanes, helicopters, buggies, equipment, you name it, we've got it. And of course, we couldn't do it without you folks, so any new aircraft or helicopter, quad, whatever you have that you may get, please go over and, and submit a, um, a review over at our Facebook page or at realrcreviews.com. As I said, it's Northcutt. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, whatever you want to do. And uh, thanks for watching.